So given the particular combination of horizons that we have within this soil pit, we have that AHE horizon, an AE horizon of under, immediately underneath that of a couple of centimeters and then moving down into the BM horizon, we would classify this particular brunosolic soil as an alluviated eutric brunosol. So what that, what that mouthful says is that the, in, the, in the brunosolic order, the great groups are based primarily on a combination of the characteristics of the A horizon and on the pH of the, of the soil. And so in the case of this particular soil pit, then we can, we're saying it's a eutric brunosol uh, based on the fact that we've, in previous work that's been done in this area, we know that the pH of the B horizon is about 6. So the cutoff is, the, is around 5.5, so in this case our pH is about 6, so we can classify this as a eutric brunosol. Uh, if it were less than 5.5, then we would say it's district and, that, uh, district, and that's what we would find further north of here in the brunosols that have developed directly on the Canadian shield, on the, the, the igneous parent material. The other factor that allows us to state that this is a eutric soil as opposed to a, uh, a melanic soil is the thickness of the A horizon. And so we do have a thin AHE here, but it is less than 10 centimeters. And so in other, uh, in other environments, so soil forming environments, say in, in much of Ontario, under the hardwood forests and whatnot, we would tend to see the same type of a soil profile developing, but a much thicker AH horizon associated with that. So the combination of greater amounts of organic matter input in terms of the leaf litter from the, from the hardwood forests and the mixing of that organic matter into the, into the A horizon by earthworms gives rise to those much thicker A horizons in the, uh, in the eastern part of Canada. And so that tends towards the melanic brunosol. So this one, we know it's a eutric because of the thin A horizon and the, the pH of around 6. And so the, in terms of the subgroup level then, we're calling it an alluviated, uh, an alluviated eutric brunosol because of that presence of the, the AE horizon in there, the AHE and AE immediately below that. And so that, that, would, that allows us to say that this is an alluviated. If it were an orthic eutric brunosol, we would see a very similar soil profile, but we wouldn't have that evidence of alluviation uh, in, in, in the form of an AE horizon. So there we have it, we have an alluviated eutric brunosol on a sandy fluvial lacustrine deposit. And this is one of the dominant, the dominant soil types throughout much of the uh, boreal forest. So this, together with the luvisolic order, uh, dominates much of the boreal forest region in Saskatchewan.